Is it made up now, Cliff? I think it will be, yes, um, because he's, he's performed really well on uh, on the world's biggest stage. It's the, the biggest competition, and because it only comes around uh, once every four years, um, to him the Olympics really means a lot. So to, to get a top ten finish is fantastic, so I'm sure he's, he's really pleased with that. Yep, so just to first meet. Uh, we met at the ski club here. Um, Dave started uh, coming to race training when he was about six, so I've known him since then. And um, I've seen him grow from being a, a six-year-old skier racing on the dry slope, um, then to representing England, um, to skiing really well on the dry slopes here before then going on to snow. So I've seen him develop from a young age, which, is, which has been really good to see. Yeah, um... I think he did, yeah. From a young age, he was always a very good skier. Uh, but I think what set him apart from other skiers was his mentality he was very, very focused on what he was doing. Um, he took it very seriously, but at the same time, if things didn't go to plan, he knew how to deal with it. And I think that's one of the most difficult things to do in skiing, to, to learn how to manage um, your feelings and emotions when things aren't going to plan. Um, so I think from a young age, he did show a lot of potential, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Kendall, would you say? Definitely, yeah. I think the main thing with Dave, uh, with him doing so well and, and getting so many good results, is that it's made other people think that it is possible um, for them to do the same. And I think it's encouraged people to, to come and give skiing a go, not just racing, I think just recreational skiers. It's encouraged people to come and have a go and, um, and take part in the sport that we all think is fantastic. And of course, he's a, he's a great role model for, for younger aspiring skiers. And um, he's got where he has just through hard work, determination and commitment. And those are the skills that we try to instill into all our skiers and he's proof that if you work really hard you have the talent the commitment and dedication then you can make it yeah this morning yeah phenomenal it's amazing what he's achieved so it's really cool to see that actually the hard work started to pay off for him yeah um i think he, he, he can definitely podium so he would have wanted a medal but actually to come in the top 10 is absolutely awesome but yeah he, he would have definitely wanted to go for the medals but ninth is still amazing yeah i mean it's as a brother is really annoying <laughs> no he's he's awesome he's, he's a great big brother to have and growing up we were both ski racing so he was always someone that i can look up to and try and try and essentially try and beat him so it brought me on as a skier but he's a really cool calm collected guy and he, he doesn't show much emotion unless obviously he's done a really good run in the finish area but other than that he's a really really he's got his head screwed on essentially yeah, it's, it's always a while you're going to the Olympics, but from a young age, he's always been a really good skier. He was quite small growing up, so he had to rely more on his technique. And then once he started to develop as a as a young person, then he grew and he gained on the other guys that were older than him. Well, at the same age, but a bit taller and bigger than him. So then he really came into his own when he was about 18. Yeah. What do you think it is that's made him so successful, would you say? Um, he just works hard. He is the hardest working guy I know. And within the sport, he's definitely the one putting the most work in there because he's hot too. Yeah. And, uh... Posture with our hands forwards and low. Adam, let's lead us off. Hugo, working on that posture. Some of us have been here since.
Mhm. Adam, Adam, das war